So now we're going to talk about when you rotate a region around a line that is not the x and y axis uh, and that you're trying to find the volume. Um, these are always on the AP exam and statistically across the nation they're the ones that kids miss the most. However, if you practice them and understand it conceptually and then just memorize based on my flow chart, I don't think you'll have a problem. So let's look at our first example. We're going to find the volume of y equal to square root of x plus 2 and y equal e raised to the x. And we're going to rotate around y equal negative 2. So we're going to graph and find the intersection points. And I'm going to do it in the calculator in a minute so I can show you, but I sketched it here so we can talk about it. So when you graph this, square root of x plus 2 is going to look like this. And the function e to the x is going to do this. And they're going to intersect in two points. And I'm calling them a and b. And when you use your intersecting feature of your calculator, they're going to be long, ugly ones. And most of these type are obviously on the calculator active. And so I'm going to show you how to store it in the calculator. It'll be easier to use. So let's talk about the radius. So remember we find the radius from going from the curve to the axis, but we're not rotating around the x-axis. We're rotating around this line down here, x equal negative 2. So the radius is going to go from the curve all the way down and from the bottom curve all the way down. So we are going to be adding this length. This length is 2. So whenever it's below your region, you are adding whatever the value is. So now if we're rotating this way, our top curve is going to be the square root of x plus 2, and our bottom curve is going to be what? e to the x. So we're going to set it up pi. Uh, we're going to use the x numbers, and we're going to go from a to b. So I have here, and I've got the square root of x plus 2 plus 2 for this distance squared minus e to the x squared dx. And here's your answer. And I'm going to show it to you in the calculator. So remember, if it's below your region, you are adding. So I'm going to put my two curves in, square root of x plus 2 and e to the x. And we're going to graph. And the square root's going to be in blue. E to the x is going to be in red. And now we're going to find our intersecting point. So second trace, number five. And hit enter, enter, enter. And you see our x coordinate and our y coordinate. And now we're going to do second five. Intersect. I'm going to move my cursor here. Enter, enter, enter. I moved it too far. Enter, enter, enter. And there's our second points, which you see on your pass out. So let's talk about how we store. So you're going to type the number that you want first. So I'm going to type the lower bound. So I'm going to type the x coordinate of the lower bound negative 1.980974. Then you hit your store button, which was is STO below your LM button on the left. And it makes that little error. And then you pick your alpha. So you hit alpha and I'm going to hit A, which is on the math button, and hit enter. So that's going to store that. Now I'm going to hit my next X coordinate, so it would be 0 0.4475, Hit my store button, alpha, and I'm going to do B, and hit enter. Now, let's go on and do our Y coordinates, call them C and D, because we're going to practice somewhere we're going to rotate on a vertical line, which would be like your Y axis. So, I'm going to put my lowest Y coordinate, which is 0 0.13793. Hit store, put alpha, and I'm going to use my C. 
and then I'm going to put my highest Y coordinate 1.564623 at my store button alpha D and hit enter. This is especially helpful on a free response where you might be using the same graph for parts A through D. So now let's look what we're doing. We already said from the graph that we are rotating um, around a line below it. So when we flip it over, the blue curve is going to go first, which is our square root of x plus 2. So when we go to type this, we're going to do math 9, and I'm going to do alpha a, because we're using x coordinates, because we're going to get so hard going around a horizontal line, and then alpha B, and then we are going to type parentheses, and we're going to do square root of X plus 2, hit your arrow button to get out from under the radical, plus 2, close it off, and hit square, and then we're going to subtract parentheses and our other one is e raised to the x plus 2 squared dx and we are going to get 6.279 pi and we can times that by pi, depending on how your answer is, and you'll get 19.725. So now we're going to talk about if we take the same functions uh, with the same intersects and points, but this time we're going to rotate a line above the region. So we're going to rotate around y equal 2. So I've got the sketch here, and you see that the y equal 2 is above the line. So there's a couple of things that we have to think about when we do this. If you're talking about your radius, remember your radius, you go from the axis to the function. But then we have to go all the way up to the line. And here we go, axis to the function, and all the way up the line. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this distance, which is 2, and subtract out the function distance, and that'll give us the distance from the function to the line that we want to rotate. So that'll be our radius. So again, you're going to take the whole 2, subtract out the part to the function, and then that'll leave you the part from the function to the line we want to rotate, which will be your radius. So it's probably easier just to look at the flow chart and memorize. If it's above, you're going to take whatever your line you're rotating and subtract out the function. The other important thing is we're going up and around, so we have to switch what's top and bottom because if you're moving and rotating this way, then this becomes your top curve. It's going to go first, and then this will follow. So when I set up my integral, I'm going to have pi b to a that we have. St well, really, that should be a to b. Sorry, I got that written wrong. So that will be a to b. And then we're going to have, remember, we'll switch what's top. So we're going to have 2 minus e to the x squared minus 2 minus the square root of x plus 2 squared. And you will get your answer here. So remember, if it's above whatever the function line is, and then subtract out your function to get your proper radius. So now we're going to use the same function, same intersection points but we're going to rotate to the left of the region. We're going to rotate around x equal negative 3. So again, I have my sketch, and we're going to use the y coordinates because we're going to be rotating around a vertical line, which is similar to the y-axis. And the line is to the left. So we've already stored these in our C and D. Now, remember when we're going around a vertical line, the y-axis, we have to switch and get x, I mean, yes, x equal equations and use y bounds. So here we have 
y equal the square root of x plus 2. I'm going to square and solve, and so I get y squared minus 2 equal x. And the way we solve this one for x, we take the ln of both sides, and then ln of e cancel out, so you get ln of y equal x. Then the other thing you have to remember, you go from right to left. So you have to look at these curves, see which is your right curve, if you're going that away, and which is your left curve. And the furthest curve, the right curve, would be your e to the x, which is your ln of y. So if we're getting our radius, remember we're going from the curve to the axis and then over to that line. So just like before, if it's to the left, we're going to add because our radius is coming from here all the way over. So we're going to add that to what the difference from our curve to our axis. Again, if you look at your flow chart and just memorize, if it's to the left, you're going to add. So we're going to come down here and you see in D that you already have stored ln of y plus 3 squared minus y squared minus 2 plus 3 squared dy. So again, you're going around a vertical line, so you have to use y bounds. You have to switch to x equal equations, figure out which one's your right and left, and if it's to the left of your region, you are adding it to make your correct radius. So our final example, we're using the same functions, same um, intersecting points, but we're going to rotate around x equal 1. So x equal 1 is to the right of your region. So we're going around this way. So we already have where we've converted our x equal equations. We already have our upper and lower bounds that are our y coordinates. So when you're talking about getting your um, radius, you're going from your curve to your axis and then your curve to your line. So what you're going to do is you're going to subtract this part out and that will leave you the distance here on both of them. So if you just memorize, if it's to the right, you're going to take whatever that line is and subtract out. Now the other thing is you're going around this way. So which curve is going to come first? It's going to be this curve. We call it our right curve. Obviously, it's not right now, but it's the one that's going to go first when you go around. So when you come down here, you're going to say 1 minus parentheses y squared minus 2, which is that curve, squared minus 1 minus L1 squared dy. So remember... If you're looking at it rotating, think which one's going to go first. That becomes your right curve.